Hi guys, this is Tavia Sobi, and today, today we're going back to the series that started all for me as far as learning Japanese, and that would be Sakura Tyson. Yeah, so back in college, I took like one Japanese course, like my own, last year <laughs> before I graduated. And so you don't really learn like a lot, you just learn the basics. And so from that point on, I had to do a lot of self-study, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to do something interesting that would help me sort of learn Japanese as opposed to just straight out reading books, which I still did. And so at that time, there was a new game that just came out in Japan called Sakura Tyson for the Sega Saturn. And I remember importing it. I can't even remember what the store, I think, I think it was like a import store based in New York. And so, yeah, I just decided to import the whole thing. And then back then, there were no smartphones. <laughs> this was how old this stuff is. Yeah, so I ended up having like a Japanese English dictionary on one hand, and then a Japanese kanji dictionary on the other. And so it was like some hardcore learning, but the bulk of the Japanese I learned pretty much came from this series. Because I played this and then the second one, I pretty much played every game. And so I was forced to just learn Japanese as I was going through, like when I couldn't understand like the kanji, which were a lot <laughs> back then, because I only, like I said, I only took one class. Yeah, it's like I would just look everything up and just from studying this game, like it allowed me to pretty much pass like the first JLPT test and then just studied a little bit more to pass JLPT too. So anyway, enough rambling from me. I just downloaded the demo here from Japan and so I've been looking forward to playing this. I've been a bit delayed as I've been out of the country for the last week or so. But yeah, so poing, let's press this, see. And now, first off, the first thing I noticed is that the art is different, right? So the classic series was done by Kosuke Fujishima, who did like, oh my God is, and I believe you're under arrest. So that's the art style that I'm used to. Not quite sure yet about what I think in terms of Kubo's art. Oh man, this music. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me back. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Look at it real quick. Oh man, this really brings me back. Oh, so beautiful. You don't even know how long or how many hours I spent playing this series. And I had a Japanese roommate at the time. He actually borrowed my game when he found out I had Sakura Tyson. But yeah, as far as the art, like um, obviously they had a change in artists. Like, I have a soft spot for Fujishima's work because that's the original, but at the same time, um, I guess it's also kind of good to have a different artist just because it makes it feel like the game is new. So, I don't know what to think about the combat yet. I haven't played any part of this game and I try not to look at stuff so much so I could kind of approach this from a fresh angle. And so yeah, this is called Shin Sakura Tyson or Shin Sakura Wars, as it says. So this is the demo. And uh, I got a license here, and here it says Hajime Kara Asobu, so play from the beginning. I'm just trying to listen <laughs> to this music because it's been such a long time. It's like a remix version, it sounds really cool. Let's see. I'll let it keep going and see how it ends, I guess. But of course you have the Sakura trees, so that's like a big uh, symbol in the game. For those of you who never played the first one, that's pretty much you know the main character was Sakura and the first meeting with Ogami was under the Sakura and, and like Oweno Koen so like music's done let's start let's see here I'm gonna try to translate as I go but my Japanese is pretty rusty let me see here okay so they're thanking us for trying the download game in this screen so yeah let's just press yes here keep going Ah, it's the Imperial Theater, looks like it. Which is based on Tokyo Station, if I remember correctly. Okay, so he's surprised that it's a theater. Someone says, um, excuse me? You're in the way of my cleaning. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I'm a new Navy Lieutenant. Says his name. I was told to come here, but... Oh my gosh, you're what's his name? I can't remember what his name. Oh, so his name, her name is Sakura. Oh, so it's been ten years since they've uh, seen each other. Sorry about the translation. It's like going super fast. Oh, it's Sure. Sure is my favorite character from the previous series. 
Funkutsu's Haishin is a Tomemus. It's almost the same way as、um, Ogami did the first time he introduced himself to Yoneda san from the original game. But. Hmm. <laughs> yeah! What's, what's up? What's going on? Oh, Sakura. Chan. What's going on here? <laughs> Were you by chance speaking or peeping? It's like, no, I wasn't. But it's like, oh, but I actually didn't hear anything.、Uh, it looks like the door is just like too thick for her to hear anything. It's like, what'd you say? It's like, no,、oh, nothing. It's like, oh, what were you guys talking about? Ah, so he says he was assigned as the sort of new leader for the Teikutu Kagekidan. And then she says she's a member of the Hanagumi group. And she's like glad that she became, he became the commander or whatever. And the leader. Gosh, this is going really fast. <laughs> It's kind of hard to translate. <laughs> okay. I got all、well, that kind of stuff. Yes! Commander Kamiyama? Or,、uh, or squad leader, I guess. Please just call me Sakura. If you do so, I would be happy. What do you mean, you'd be happy? Ah, nothing! Oh, by the way, since you're new, I should、um, introduce you to everybody else. You probably don't know the layout of the theater yet, so I will show you around. Ah, that would be super helpful. I leave it in your hands then. Yes. Since this is a theater, I shall show you the stage first. I'm sure there are some members over there. But I was really surprised. Uh, the, the Kamiyama san I've known since I was young. I can't believe that we get to meet again. I'm, I'm surprised as well. I didn't realize that you were in the Taifuku Kagakidai. Or Imperial Flower Troop, whatever. That's, been, that's because it's been my dream.、Ah, it's like she really admired the Taifuku Kagekidan since she was here. It's like, ah.、Oh. Oh no, it's lips. I'm there to time limit. <laughs> it's good that you've、uh, fulfilled your dream. It's pretty much what I think.、Uh, uh, yep, that's right. Okay, so the stage is beyond this door. Welcome to the Great Imperial Theater. Okay, so, ah, so Sakura says the theater is beyond here. All right, let's give it a look. Before that, let's see. Oh, I can rotate the camera. She's super happy. We got some people over here. And so this is Kamiyama san. I keep missing what his first name was. Maybe I should have looked that up before I started doing this. Was it Seiji or something? Or Seiji? Let's see. Is there any information if I hit start? You cannot skip this. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> What's this? Oh, so I was able to bring up the map. Okay, so it's pretty much telling me that I should go to the theater. First, let's talk to her again, see if something happens. Oh, so she wants me to go to the theater. Oh, wait. Triangle brings up a smartphone. Ah,、oh, they have smartphones now. <laughs> Is it powered by steam? <laughs> Everything used to be steam powered by then. <laughs> Which would be kind of weird, but for a smartphone, but who knows? Okay, so this shows where we are. Several floors, there's dining room over there. Okay, let's skip that for now. I guess I don't want to waste too much time. Let's go here. All right, we're in the theater, it looks like. Ooh, it's pretty big. Pretty big. 
It's a lot more high def now <laughs> than it was back in the Saturn and Dreamcast days. That's for sure. So this is the Imperial Theater stage, huh? It's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh man, there's like, it just keeps going. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could translate that fast. Um, now it is. Oh, okay, I'm back in control. I have control. Okay. Let me just look around real quick. Just keep going. Can I run? No. Well, I guess that's a brisk cup. Like, come over here. Let's do that, huh? Oh, if it's in Sakura, and you brought a dude or a man here too, huh? That's all. It's like, don't say any weird stuff, please. Um, excuse me, Taicho or Kanda? Is this one member of the Hanagami? Hatsu or whatever. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. Hatsuho. It is Kamiyama Seijiro-san. Oh, so it's kind of close to Ichiro. He's like our new commander or field leader. Ah! I did hear that he was about to come soon. Something like that. Shinonomi Hatsuo is my name. Pleased to meet you. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> go on a date. <laughs> this is just Ryorsuku. I guess we'll go do the like normal response. Nice to meet you too. Ah, it looks like we got a plus. And he's saying that we're kind of straight-laced. I like you. If you have any problems, please uh, talk to me. Whether it be about the stage, or I mean, the, whether it be about the stage or whatever else, just talk to me. And he's like, thank you. I'll be depending on you or relying on you. Okay, let's go to the next spot. See you later, Hatsu. Whoa. Oh my god, it's going too fast. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep this up. Um, look at my terrible Japanese. Let's see. All right, so he says, Tsugiwa, doko. Oh, where should I take you next? My gosh, so it might be good if you just keep walking around, or we keep walking around. And thank you for showing me around. Said so I'm going to go back to my room, which is on the second floor. If something else happens, please just call out to me. What's this? Shibyo Shitsu. So he wants us to go to the Shibio Shitsu. There's definitely going to be someone over there. It's like, oh yes, I understand. I shall go look. Thank you. Shibio Shitsu. Which room is that? Well, actually, there's an arrow here. I guess I should just... Oh no, there's no arrow. It's just like text. So I've already cleared going to this stage, and next I have to go to the Shiri Yoshitsu or Tazuneru, it says. Why did I bring up that map last time? <laughs> I can't remember. There we go. Where is it? So it looks like there's four more girls I haven't talked to yet. Yeah, this lady is like the gift shop lady. Let's see what she says. Well then, today... Okay, so she's checking the merchandise, pretty much. That's pretty much it. I guess we can't do anything yet. Ah, oh, they have pictures. This kind of brings me back. Ooh, what's this? Are they like bromides or something? So it's goods for each of the uh, performers or staff members. This lady's... It's like, Mom! He's, he wants to eat, she wants to eat dango. <laughs> ah, yeah, huh? So on the way back, why don't we stop by a dango place? Yeah, so those are like those little rice balls that's usually like dipped in like uh, a teriyaki, you know, teriyaki sauce tasting like sort of syrup. Are these footprints? What the heck are these? I don't know. This one says go outside. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet what does this lady need okay so let me see here so he's just basically saying that when it comes to theaters like uh you definitely think about europe 
first, I guess. So, Gekijo to Yeba, Yapari, Honban wa Oshu yo, which is like, yeah, so when you think about theater, it normally has to be about Europe, you say. Then, like, the top girls in the world perform, and it's really impressive. Especially Sarome? Is that like somebody's name? Okay, so. Wow, this is um, a lot more uh, modern looking, I guess, as far as going around the theater. I used to, do, used to do this in the old games too, but it was like mostly top down and stuff. Now, where is this office? Like reading this wrong. Aha, there it is. It's on the second floor. The left, right there. So I guess we can go there. Should I talk to those ladies too? I don't know. I guess let's do this in order. Ah, it's a remix of the uh, main theme song. That's great. I'm debating whether I should like talk to people or just like kind of go through it <laughs> real quick because I don't know. I don't want to have a, like a super long video because this the processing time is going to be like too long. Okay, so on this way, it's this way right here. So I can just keep going. I think I can go through here. It's loading. I think it's to the right, right? Yep. All right, here we are. Who's there? No, no, we got a little ninja lolly right here. <laughs> Who are you? Azumi? Is it you? How do you know my name? Who are you? Ah, it's fine, whoever you are. Since you know who my name is, what is going to fun? So I, it looks like, it's like, since you know, like, I can't let you live. <laughs> so get ready. It's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm your Taicho, I'm not a criminal. Okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I'm running out of time. I'm your commander. Yes, or your squad leader. You're a member of the Anagami, right? Mochizuki Azami-kun, right? I'm Kamiyama Seijuro. Starting today, I will be in charge of the Hanagami. Ah, it's like I heard that from Kanzaki like Shire is like commander too, but like the higher commander. So I guess I should like pick different words. Aha, so you're coming on the stage, oh, the new leader or squad leader. Gosh, it's like way too fast. It's kind of hard to translate. It's like I shall uh, introduce myself again. What is it? I shall be, uh, I'm one of your subordinates starting today. Uh, nice to meet you. Understood. Very well. Excuse me, or I'm sorry. It's like, where the heck did she go? <laughs> what the heck? Hmm. She's a ninja, she's a ninja huh? Yeah, we're going to leave the room, it says. Whose room is this anyway? I think I saw my name in front. Yeah, I guess this is my room. Because it says Kamiyama. Although it's spread from like right to left instead of left to right here. Okay, so. Ah, so this is where I should have gone. <laughs> I, I guess I kind of. Ah, should I go? I probably. I wonder if I should like talk to other people first. Huh, I wonder if I should enter, she says. You know what? Let's pick this. Let's like go look around a little bit more first before entering because this will progress the game. So, um, let's see who else we can talk to. So there's another person this way. Oops, wrong side. This way. Oh, it's Sakura's room. Okay. So this is Sakura's room. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yes. Hey, Sakura. Do you have some time? Yes, I do. Please come in. All right. Let me see. I'm surprised I can still read this stuff. It's been a while since I've studied. It's like, oh. 
Oh, it's Sakura and Maria. I remember that. <laughs> that was one of the performances. And there's another one right there. It's Kana and Maria. Oh, this is like one of my favorite series. So <laughs> I apologize for fanboying a little bit here. So this is Sakura's room. It seems... Seems what? Natsukashi. Good smell. Live with me. <laughs> Let's go with Natsukashi. It's like seems familiar, like like somewhat. Yeah, we got a plus point. Yeah, live with me. Or let's live together in the same room. Probably is not a good choice. Ah, shoot. I didn't read that. Ah, it's like, yeah, memories that I can't forget. Whatever she was saying before that. By the way, what do you... Do you need something from me? Or how can I help you, pretty much? So, yeah. Yongata wakejenai. I'm not here if, or anything in particular. And no, I wasn't able to read that. It's like, am I bothering you? It's like, no, no, it's not a bother. Not at all. <laughs> like, you coming here is like old times, is pretty much what she's saying. Huh. Looks like she's a Sakura fan. Oh, should I talk to her? Look at that old school sewing machine. We used to have this when I was growing up in my grandma, uh, grandma's house. Grandma's place, she has a sword, so it looks like she fights just like Sakura. Eh, those are like some classic posters right there. Books. Usually like in Japanese games, if you like go to the woman's bed or analyze it, like they don't like it. Let's just talk to her. It's like, um, Kamiyama Commander? Ah, I should think of like another word. Uh, yeah. Do you think you can be like uh, the Hanagumi's commander? Like, what do you think? Ah, yeah, ha. Huh. Of course! Like, it's, and the other one is like, Muri, it's like, no way. <laughs> so let's pick this. I want to come across as being confident. Of course, it'll be all fine. Just leave everything to me. I'm like twisting my tongue here, trying to talk. Ah, that's great to hear. Let's see. Yeah, it's like if it's Seijiro, well, Seijiro Yusen is like, should be fine. He's got double swords too, just like Ogami, so. What if he's got the lightning element as well? So let us, like, uh, how do you say, Mori Aguru is like to sort of build up the mood or for um, the. Theaters, uh, Kagekidan troop. So, all right, so we've done that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the rough translation. I'm not like used to playing and translating at the same time. I mean, I did it for Dragon Quest Builders too, but that was a little bit more easy to translate because I could move the dialogue along <laughs> like on my own pace, and it's kind of for kids, so it's easier to understand. Okay, who else haven't I talked to? So, Let's go back to the first floor real quick. Okay, I know there were some girls showing up here. Okay, let's go. There's four more. Let's start with this one. So we can just talk to all the ladies. Let's see. Oh my god, this is like totally a Kubo. This design character. Just based on how well endowed they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is one of the big differences between um, the current design and the old one. I mean, this is kind of, yeah. So, yeah, let's talk to her. Who's this one? <laughs> oh, Captain. Oh. Have you come here to see me practice? <laughs> I guess. It's better to practice when you have a training partner. <laughs> that would be super helpful. Please, let's please do this. All right. My acting. Also, pretty much match yourself to my acting. And do it naturally. Well, then let's start. Oh, man. Is this going to be like QTs? I hope not. Oh, that's so strange. 
You went for you to come to my room. I wonder if it's gonna rain. <laughs> Sorry, why not? That's like... Okay, let's just do middle. It's like, man, that's like, that's so mean. <laughs> oh my god, so she's like saying that he likes to use her lap as a pillow? <laughs> but today is different, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Something about like using her bed. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was good right now. Ah, he said that the strength of my voice was just right. So pick the middle sort of strength because if you put the bar up, you're going to be shouting and then too low, you're going to be whispering. So, so what are you here for? Is it something good or something bad? <laughs> Please marry me. <laughs> Let's go middle again. All right. <laughs> I wonder if I should have went low. Uh oh, I don't know if this was the right choice. <laughs> well, that was some mild flirting right there. Ah! She wanted me to be a bit more excited when I said, please marry me. Ah! I made a mistake there. I should have been more forceful. So this is Anastasia, by the way. And it says that like you're not bad, you just need more practice. It's like, ah, oh, seriously? I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> besides just practicing the strength of your voice, you should practice like falling in love too, or like sort of romantic talk. <laughs> If it's okay with you, you can practice with me or something like that. I didn't quite catch that. I wasn't reading fast enough because I was translating. <sighs> so as far as your personality, it seems like you could be a bit more forward with her. Because some women in past games like don't like it if you're super forward. So looks like with her you have a bit more freedom as far as how you interact. So let's see what's next here. Not anymore. Oh my god, it's kind of rough doing this like and translating at the same time. Let's just go to each room and then I try to go quick or more quickly just because I don't want this video to be like super long as far as processing. Or... Well, who's this? Oh, it's Hatsuho. I was like, hi, captain or new captain, I guess. Well, he's technically a lieutenant, but I guess captain of the squad. Oh, what's this? She's explaining whatever this weird pyramid thing is. Like, the stone, don't tell me. Oh god, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just guessing. This power, this high power level or whatever. Masaka, it's like a question. I got it right! <laughs> Reiryoku is kind of spirit power, and that's actually what they used to like move the robots as well in the past game, so that's why I just guess that might be it. So, and it's apparently the first time he's seen it, so... And apparently it's like pretty large for this type of stone. Which is necessary, I guess, for it to like uh, have power or whatever. What's this? Yeah, so you gather the strength and... Ugh, no, it went way too fast. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> gonna be some rough translation it's like going way way fast for me as far as this size is concerned he said it must be pretty powerful as, as far as like um, what it pumps out all right so we did well there too my gosh it's like definitely giving me flashbacks like back when this first game came out I actually used to do lips guides on the internets internets <laughs> on the interwebs because I would buy the strategy guides for this game and then I had like a like a website like an old website where I'd put the choices and like I was pretty much trying to make sure to like have all the characters kind of even until like to a certain point 
so you can like you don't have to replay the game from the very beginning to sort of get everybody's endings you just have to replay it like somewhere closer to the end of the game so let's go here hi hi it's kaoru it says and it's like i'm kamiyama san it's like oh hi kaoru this is kamiyama it's like ah please enter Ah, Oketsuke. So this is like like the reception desk. So is she like one of the support staff as opposed to uh, one of the uh, fighting members or actresses, I guess? Let's see. Ah. Like, uh, like, uh, it's kind of what you tell people when they're working. Right? It's like, oh, can I help you, Kamiyama? -san? It's like, no, not really. I don't know. By the way, Kaoru-san. Ah, so he's with the Kazegumi. So they are the support staff. It's kind of like like in the old uh, games where you also have Kazegumi members who kind of... They usually act as like ticket receptionists, stuff like that, or support staff for the theater, but they also support you in combat by operating like um, the flying sort of uh, ship, airship and all that stuff. So, and where are we? My main role? Is, oh, it's like um, Sumire's uh, secretary. Or assistant. The other one is. <laughs> one is like, oh, that must be a tough job. The other one is like, please teach me how to get closer to Sumire. And this one is like a more kind of straightforward answer, <laughs> which I picked. And she liked it, so it's the correct choice. Oh, she's, she's a big Sumire fan. She thinks she's perfect. And she's like, she's pretty much saying how happy she is to be able to support Sumire. And it's like, as the new captain, please support Sumire as well. Yes, I will do my best. All right, why is there still a question or exclamation point? I guess we could, we're could. we not done talking yet. It's like, by the way, as the new captain for the Hanagumi, there are some things you should know. And so if you pretty much just walk around the theater and look around, that's the best way for you to learn some of the stuff. Like, you know, check the rooms, like the equipment, etc. Just like sort of like check and verify those things. And like I understand. And then once you've done whatever, like feel free to come back or something like that, I guess. Pretty much <laughs> these are just like rough translations. Okay, I'm trying to do this one. Why am I walking so stiffly? Because <laughs> I'm inside a room. It's like somebody just gave him a wedgie. <laughs> the way he's walking. Alright, one more person. And I think after this, we'll, we're probably going to be talking to Sumire. Just based on how the old games used to go. Who's here? Oh, this is the dressing room? <laughs> yeah, it's just like the old ones too. But this is where Sakura and everybody else prepares. She's like, I said something seems to be written, like deeper in. I'm gonna check it out later. I think it's that sign over there. Yep. It's such an unnatural walk. あなたに13回。Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully somebody's not changing. That's Sakura. Somebody's coming. 
<laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this doesn't look good. So she's sweating from the practice, she says. Ah, it's a good thing I was able to. So he just says he naturally, his natural reaction was to hide. And he didn't know why. It's like, there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Oh no! <laughs> Now I can't come out. It's like, this is bad. Maybe I should just wait. What's going on? Ah, no. We're, we are not going to peek. We're just going to stay down here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's not good to peek. I'll just stay quietly here until she leaves the room. Ah, I feel refreshed. The Hanagumi Top Star. Amamiya Sakura. Oh, she's like pretending that she's the Top Star and... <laughs> like that would be it, she says. Like, I need to try my hardest in order to, I guess... I guess Anastasia seems to be the top star is what she's saying and she needs to do better in order to match her or be like her. That was a bit quick. I wasn't able to read all of it again. It's like, oh. <laughs> Try your best, Sakura. As long as it's you, I'm sure you can become the Hanagumi's top star or the Flower Troops top star. And for your sake and for the Hanagami's sake, I'll do my best as well. Pretty much he said, I think. He said, I think. Mm. Like. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've already been doing this 37 minutes. Um, that's it. I think I'm supposed to... Okay, that's it. I think I'll just go to the second floor. That's a wall. <laughs> Wrong way. I have a really bad sense of direction. Let's go to the second floor. I think we're probably going to meet Sumire. Here. It's interesting that she became the commander. For the theater. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense though, because she kind of was the top star uh, at one point. Before Sakura became super popular. Alright, should I go in? Um, yes, let's go in. I'm going in, boys. All right. It's like, I wonder who's inside. Let's do this. This is the Shiji Ashitsu. Oh, it's like Captain Kamiyama. Should we go inside together? I'm sure someone's inside. I don't know if it's he or she because of the way it's written. It's kind of thing. Ah! Who's this? Clarice? Clarice? Yep, it's Clarice. It's like Captain Miss Clarice. It's like I knew it, she's gonna be here, is what Sakura pretty much says. Now what? Wow, she's really seriously reading that book. It makes me kind of hesitant to call out to her. Uh, even if you call her, it's not gonna work. <laughs> when Clarice gets like that, she won't respond to anything. Ah, uh, anything you say? I wanna kind of test that out. Oh, great. Should I go in the back? Ah! Let's do this. At times like this. like So pretty much like, you know, from the back you like cover their eyes is what I picked. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> well, that wasn't... <laughs> She's not amused. <laughs> see? I told you. She's always gonna be like this. Whatever you do, it doesn't work. I should, I should try something else next time, just to be sure. Hmm, wow, that's some impressive concentration. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's just go. Wait, please. What's going on? Ah, Uttori's it's like someday I wish I could write a great story just like this. 
I see. Ah, so Koi she wanted to be an author, huh? <laughs> nice to meet you. Wait, Miss At. What's this? Jer Why is there a man here? Please calm down. I'm not suspicious, which is what suspicious, which makes you look even more suspicious. Kamiyama. Oh, so he pretty much said that I'll be the captain from now on. It's like captain. It's like yes, that's right. From now on, this guy is gonna be our captain or this person. It's gonna be our captain. I see. Mm. <laughs> she's like pretty much saying bad things. Cause she looks like she's like a no good captain. So pretty much she's saying that today is Hanagumi is not the same as the previous one. Ah, I see. Okay. So what she was saying is pretty much this Hanagumi is. Well, let me see. Let's see. So pretty much he's saying that it's not as good as the past one, the legendary one. So he's I pretty much big saying that we'll try to make it as good as it was before. And she's like, wow, you're optimistic. Oh no, <laughs> she, he doesn't like it. It's just like you sound like somebody who doesn't think about stuff. And I'm not good with those kinds of people. Not everything is going to be a happy ending pretty much is what she's saying. Hmm. Well then, excuse me, please. Please try your best. So I should have picked something else, I guess, because I didn't get any positive points from that. So, sh so this is the thing with this game. Like some characters don't like it when you pick, like either an optimistic answer or like kind of like what you think is a good answer. So it was like, don't worry about her. She's like a good kid. Plus she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. You're cuter, Sakura. Let's go with this. I hope it doesn't bite me in the butt later on. <laughs> what are you talking about? Say. Well, I was just saying what I actually think. You always joke around. So embarrassing. Hey, <laughs> she likes it. Well then, I'm gonna go then. And I think I'm gonna go too. Uh oh, I'm getting called by Sumire. <laughs> I was just gonna say I was gonna go too because it's been long. Like, okay, I guess I should answer this first. It's like Kamiyama kun. I can verify that you're here or something like that. Hanata Tachi, Hanagumi. Oh, it's like it's time for the Hanagumi to like us. Uh, I guess we're supposed to sorty or something, so. So yeah, it looks like so there's an emergency. And it's our turn to sort here or something like that. Uh, it looks like the Kalma has come out, which is pretty much the demons from the past games. So yeah, I think this will be a good time to sort of um, split up the uh, playthrough. We've done like the sort of walkthrough for like the theater and next it looks like it's going to be a battle. So it's loading. All right, time to battle. Looks like we've got the captain and the ninja right here. Like, oh, can't believe this has happened here. I wonder if everybody, if everybody else is okay. Looks like communications with Koru are being disrupted. Yeah, he's saying like the connection is bad because of the comas jamming. So first we have to uh, rendezvous with Sakura and the others first. I'm kind of worried that they might not be all right. All right, let's go move forward. Yeah, so here we go. One, two, three. So for folks who've played the original series before, the main difference is it's as far as combat, you now have an actual sort of um, real-time action game as opposed to the strategy game or strategy based combat from the uh, previous titles and so I'm sure they've probably done that because they think that strategy games won't get as good a reception for gamers today um, the success of uh, games like Fire Emblem notwithstanding <laughs> but as far as the feel for it it feels kind of like Dynasty Warriors at least that's the sense that I'm getting so you know you have your basic combos here 
with circle and then like a like a strong attack right there you can jump with x you can change well in here you can dash with l when you're moving and you can also do this with the right trigger and then the uh, well actually so right bumper does this dodge right trigger does this and then left bumper does a switch and then this one just uh, left trigger adjusts your camera so the action itself feels actually pretty good I'm sure there are some purists out there who will probably <laughs> be disappointed um, that it's not strategy based anymore or tactical uh, based as far as combat but so far the feel of the action is pretty good now what hmm it's like a mid boss or something it's like everyone um, pay attention or like <clears throat> don't be careless is pretty much what you say okay Woo! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I, I thought that was a good move. <laughs> oh wow, she's like doing pretty good. Oh. And so there's a bar at the bottom that's filling up, and I'm assuming that's a super bar right there. So when it's it's full, you should be able to unleash like a super attack. Well, what's the triangle? Ah! So it's like bayonetta. If you dodge at the last second, it looks like you can do a counter. Yeah! <laughs> so actually, that's pretty fun. Okay. It's not just mindless, like, um, hack and slashing right there. No. So he's pretty much says he's gonna take his time, like, um, doing all sorts of things to your t teammates, because he's like a freaking creepy perp. Um, so this is the super, um, which you get by pressing square once your bar is full. Has to be lightning, just like Ogami. Ah, that's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. Well, she took care of that. And I'm going to just let the computer keep controlling her to build up meter and stuff. So that wave's done. And we can push through. First, let's get some crystals. It's like, dang it, Sakura, can you hear me? Hatsuho, Clarice, Anastasia. It's like, Seijiro, calm down. It'll be okay. Sakura and everyone else is, um, they're still alive. Let's hurry up. We have to uh, rendezvous with them as soon as possible. You know what, let me try her. See what a ninja fights like. Oh, so she's like pretty quick. Close range melee. What's her uh, strong attack? Oh, it's a foot stomp. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, where are we going? So that one's blocked, but which one opened? Am I backtracking here? What am I doing? Ah, okay, so this is the right way. Oh wow, that's a big snake. <laughs> it's a big snake. What's that? Daija, so like a large serpent or something? Is it a new demon or a coma? It's like, wait, Seijiro. And so he's using like a ninjutsu skill. It's like Seijiro. This large snake is like an illusion. So, so I guess it's uh, not worth attacking. They're pretty much trying to delay our progress. So we have to just get through this and hopefully not get smacked around. It's like so it's like Azami be careful of the snake's movements. Ah, that was close. <laughs> that was close. It's like, let's go. Oh, he's, he's coming back, she says. So we got through that unscathed. Thank goodness. <laughs> ba -bomp. Come on, come on, come on. 
Ah, so it's kind of hard to, like the dodge. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> Lesson as always is, I'm an idiot. I was trying to counter it. It's like, why didn't it work? Let's just foot stop this stuff right here. Come on, come on, attack, attack. So I'm having a hard time countering while attacking. But you know what? Let me try it real quick. Okay, so we've opened up another path. Let me see. Can you like hit and then can Oh you can. So you can like hit and dodge, so alright. Maybe we can do something cool with that. So that looks like something that you can run yep, you could run up against. So we're gonna be wall running. I guess she would be perfect for that since she's a ninja. But I'm sure Sejiro can do it as well. Alright, here we go. So I'm sure it just boosts says the instructions. And then just keep going. So he says it looks like we can get through here. That's the end of the line. Ah, you can do like an air attack after jumping off too. At least with this character. Okay, there were some demons here. Where'd they go? Anything down here? Uh huh, they're down here. So that's her aerial. Oops! <laughs> Where'd that happen? Because <laughs> let's not do that again. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch characters real quick. Ah. Let's use her or him this time. Uh oh. Whoa, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. So you don't want to overshoot that part. Here, let's come off here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Use her. I want to see what her dodge is like. Of course, let's get rid of these guys. Uh, her aerial is kind of hard to use, though. Oh, I see, I see. So, if you use strong attack, you get this rotating slash right here, and if you use just normal, then you can do like normal thrusts. So, I can actually, so that's good. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm not just like doing that jump kick or... I'm still not quite familiar with the system. I don't know um, what that bar at the top does, the top left. But, okay, now what? Ah, this looks like someone you'd want to use your super against. <laughs> It's like, wow, you guys are, like, kind of annoyingly tough. It's like, human, say something. I, need, I don't need to give my name to you, he said. <laughs> so he's calling, instead of Kamiyama, he's calling you Kamimama and making, like, mom jokes. All right. I'm going to let them finish their little talk here. Before I use my super. Oh, you know what? Let's see what he's like. I want to like counter and see what happens. There we go. Bullet time. So it looks like you can combo into stuff. That's great. What's your super like? Some ninjutsu. Mm. Ah, <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Looks like there's some, oh, okay, so it looks like everybody else is kind of in trouble and they're trying to contact us. It's like, where is Sakura? So it looks like we've cleared this part. So we've opened that path. What's next? Looks like, um, we're gonna go through here. It's like, please everyone, be safe. Huh. So you've gotten through again. What an annoying bunch. 
people are waiting for us. We can't be stopped here. All right, so let's go this way. Jump. Let's switch characters real quick. I need a little bit more range. So you can combo the two aerial attacks too. Looks like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I really need to pay attention. Come here. There's one down. A few more here. There's one enemy that's like down there. I wonder if I could make... Too bad you can't... It doesn't look like you can air dash. You can double jump. I don't know if I could make this. I'll probably like drop down. Nope. Couldn't make it. So let's just get rid of these guys. Oh man. <laughs> it's like volleyball. <laughs> what? Oh, I wonder if you can like bullet time these things too. Well, I guess we'll. Well, that's kind of harder, but. Like just like the normal attacks, so let's just get rid of them real quick. So far, we're only using like melee characters. Hopefully, we have like a ranged one later on. Flying kick. <laughs> I think that's it. So we've cleared that part. All right. Keep moving forward. Uh oh, what's going on here? It's like, it's pressure. It's like, Seijiro, run! What, what's going on? Just run as quickly as you can with all your might. Uh-oh. Eh. Oh. Okay. We somehow uh, survived that. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Azami, is what like uh, Seijiro says. So it's all about her nimpo, I guess. Ah, so it looks like everybody else is uh, just atop this cliff right here. Really? It's like, let's go climb as quickly as possible. But not before we get some crystals. <laughs> they can wait. We gotta get some loot. Okay, let's do this. Go! Ba bam What's going on here? Ah, to be continued. <laughs> so they kept this from the previous series as well, where um, you have sort of like this TV sort of preview after each episode or before the next episode. So pretty much she's saying it's the birth of a new Kagekidan. And then like Shin Sakura's episode one, a new wind. Yeah, so there you go. That's the Shin Sakura Wars demo available in Japan on December 12th. I'm probably going to import it and I believe it's coming out in the US next year. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Um, if you've played the game, what do you think of the new combat system so far? And for those of you who haven't played it, uh, what do you think about this Sakura Wars in general based on this demo? Uh, personally for me, um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, felt great. It's just like a little sort of snippet, but you still have sort of the same system from before, except, you know, the production values are better. Like you have the point where you talk to people in the uh, theater and then depending on how you interact with them, especially with sort of the interactive lip system, um, you, you can either get like sort of positive points from each of the girls. And if it's like the previous games, that means that you'll get a chance to sort of like have a date with whoever has the most points in the end. And as far as the women, we've seen one, two, three, four, five. We've seen five of the women so far. I don't know if that's the final count, but as you can see in the choices, like each one has a different personality and depending on their personality, then the answers you give, like kind of have to change. Like, you know, you've got that gloomy girl over there who's pessimistic. <laughs> and I don't know if the answer I gave was wrong because I didn't get any points, but there are cases in past games where you give an answer that doesn't get a reaction right away, but then once like the girl undergoes a change, that it actually counts as points, like later on, like secret point that gets added up. So you know you have straightforward characters, and then you have characters where you can kind of be a little bit flirty. So yeah, 
Um, that's pretty much what Soccer Awards is like. I'm liking what I see so far. Um, hopefully the actual final game is um, pretty good and honors sort of the spirit of the past games. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi, and thank you for watching.